Welcome back, Green Media family. Today, I'm out here with Adam from URC checking out the MRX-15. This is a controller for whole home control automation. I am getting an overhaul on my system here. Finally, my wife's been asking for this for two years now. And of course, the guy who runs the AV company never has the AV system. That's right. And we're gonna change that today. So we're gonna be checking out the MRX-15, which I believe is the one that's appropriate yep. for my home. So this, this is, is the one we're putting in your house. This so. is the unit that I'm most interested in checking out, but we did check out the Little Brothers, uh, the MRX-5, which is perfect for one or two room solutions. And again, you can use their killer app interface. It just requires requires programming by one of our professionals. Then we have the MRX-12, and we made separate videos on that, taking a deep dive into applications and reasons you may wanna choose that processor over, say, this processor. I'm gonna pass it off to Adam, since I'm lucky enough to have him here, and we're gonna unbox this product, and he's just gonna tell you more about it. So to begin, the MRX-15, I think, is kind of our bread and butter processor. It is one of my favorite go-to products when we're building systems that, some are even smaller, where they have huge dreams to expand and grow, or for large systems, the amount of power, connectivity, this just seems to be kind of the magic fit with most systems that we integrate. So like, what would you say is the square footage cap on this product? Oh, you know, it's it's hard to say. Um, I'm sitting at about 4,000 square feet. I have a very like typical four bedroom home. What would be kind of your cap? Like I put in, we had a 12,000 square foot home, like, it could it probably could, drive it, that, It right? could definitely do it, it could definitely so, do it. So really we're talking more like probably heading towards the resi commercial. This is the product that if a commercial property were to be discussed, let's say a Dave & Buster's is doing yeah, a whole automation. Or a hotel. Or a hotel yeah. or a P.F. Chang. They want that, you know, flagship performance, great product, almost unlimited expansion. The MRX-15 is great. And it's the last um, processor in our product line that if you're working with a rack, that still fits into that one one use space. Oh, As you go to the MRX 30, we're now going to a two use space, and depending on how much room you have, that can be valuable. Yeah, the compactness of the 15 really fits. We went over on a previous video the MRX 12, um, biggest difference between the 12 and the 15. Again, a lot of things you're going to notice a pattern. There's doubling that takes place. You asked your question about square footage that applies. Just trying to give a general it's reference right. for the average consumer that's watching the this. The easiest way to understand the 15 to the 12, a lot of us, myself included, we've been collecting apps over the last 10 years. Some have 10 apps of different things, some have 20 apps. <laughs> yeah. Some of us have hundreds that's of apps. That's what I'm having my wife use right now, and that's why she, yeah, that's got, why they're here. <laughs> we've, got, we've got garage door openers, we've got lighting, we've got Roku apps, Never we've ends. got Apple TVs. Never ends. The ability for URC to take that entire collection of third party everything and bring it into one ecosystem, we're the best in the industry. At, at, taking that challenge. The 15, the amount of memory and processing power that this has, I have yet to see any end user be able to bring their past 15 years of app collection into a single ecosystem. So it's almost less about square footage and exactly. more about number of apps. Like yeah. how much you're gonna be driving the system to work and receive all that information. Exactly. There's lots of analogies I can use for the younger demographics. It's like gaming PCs. It's a very basic laptop versus a super juiced up, super powerful laptop. Yes, they can all play the same game, but the performance from one laptop to the next oh my is gonna be substantial. I can relate to that. I just upgraded my MacBook that I thought was new. Turns out I went into the settings and it's been six years. Oh my yeah. God, time's just flying. I know. But uh, I, I, I had a really hard time doing uh, 4K HDR to where my computer just sounded like it was about to blow up. Exactly. Um, so same thing applies here. You don't want the thing running hot and failing to load. I've seen on certain properties where they're kind of maxed out where I'll hit the button for it to run the command. And although it may not be a big deal and you guys probably didn't think anything of it in the video, it had a, a little loading thing and it took an extra second and a half to load on the day to day. Unacceptable. I mean, it kind of is, Adam, right? I'm ready to like, buy a laptop the second I'm waiting for something no, to think. No, you can't. It's time for me to get a new computer. I can't do it. And when people are investing into systems with this much capability, the last thing we want, want it to work. is for them to experience even the slightest bit of delay. 
And that is why even though the 12 is an exceptional processor, the 15 is kind of that bottom line guarantee that you've got so much power and so much capability that that is something that you might never even have that discussion with your client. It's a great place to start. It's, it's one of my favorite products in our entire product line. I get to work with a lot of 15s on a lot of fun projects that I've done. And the amount of connectivity compared to the 12 is also enhanced quite a bit. There's, there's more connections, there's more things that we can do, and uh, we can get this opened up and do a comparison. So, so sir, we're just gonna take it out of the box and check out some of the connections and explain some of the ways that you may wanna utilize this product. These videos are not only for my customers out there, but also for my integrators. We wanna inspire you guys to set up customers' homes in new and exciting ways. You know, we really pride ourselves here at Dream Media on being on the forefront of everything we do, like with high-end home theaters. You know, we're always making videos on Trinov, the best <laughs> processor in the industry. We got 32 channel surround sound Dolby Atmos systems we're putting in now. So the ability to deep dive into the automation side now is kind of where my roots are. I'm like a kid in a candy store. You can see the size form factor from the 12 to the 15. There's a lot more in the 15. More memory, more power, takes up a little bit more space. So you're gonna see a little bit depth. But as well, if we go to the back, again, you see growth. You see additional IR controls, but now every single unit has voltage control. So there's really no distance that we can't get proper IR control to a device. The relays double. And again, relays are used for quite a few things. It could be a security panel from an alarm.com product. It could be a doorbell. So now you have more relay connectivity. We double up on the 12 volt output triggers. Now we, instead of two sensors, we can do up to four sensors and up to four RS-232. All right, appreciate it, Adam. Well, thanks for giving us a run through of the MRX-15. This is going into my home, guys, and I got a ton of content coming for you, covering all the intricate details, as well as demos. I'm gonna show it all in action and give you my authentic thoughts on having the industry-leading control system in my home in 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative and in helping you make a buying decision. If you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media out here with Adam from URC. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.